So it's confirmed we are getting nuclear hogs. Yes, this guy. Nuclear hog. Let's talk about it. So what's going on, guys? And welcome to another satisfactory video. We're going to be talking about, obviously, the new teaser and updates and information we received today from Jace over on the Coffee Stain channel. If you want to watch the full video, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but first up, we've got general changes. Basically, uh, you must have been going around and you've seen, like, weird textures happening it a lot of it was mainly in the old spire coast weird rocks like look like super stretched and all that kind of stuff well now they're using uh with the new tools they've got they they've kind of got a more unified um stretching system uh, that allows them to scale appropriately without going in one direction and all that kind of stuff for example this big archway here has also been changed so the next thing he goes on about is uh medium changes and how some places might get affected if you have a factory there. For example, the Titan Forest. That's new with update. Well, it's not new with update. The rework. Uh, and it's had uh, a lot of foliage changes. So, like, and he does go on about, like, um, the terrain is hardly unchanged. But there's a lot of new trees, a lot of new meshes, all this kind of stuff. So, you will, if you have a factory in there more than likely going to have loads of new trees um, going into your factory. Uh, so you'll have to cut them down or blow them up and all that kind of stuff. And that goes for near enough any biome that gets changed. Near enough, all the foliage trees will pop back up, up, up into your factory and all that kind of stuff. So regarding the Titan Forest, we have the big old trees. And with them trees, the whole model has changed. They're going to be in exactly the same position. The only difference is, uh, because they are using different meshes, um, it, it does go on about how your factories, if they are surrounding one of the trees, should not be affected on the lower half of the tree. But going on further from that, you probably will have a problem because they have a different kind of um, shape and all that kind of stuff. So going up there, there might be more of a uh, encroaching onto your factory. The next up is the red jungle slash red forest, um, which is having some minor uh, landscape changes and also a lot of foliage changes um especially well i don't think with the the tall trees they're not changing but the smaller ones they've all got new foliage they've all got new trees and all that kind of stuff um the landscape changes however the only thing uh they did go on about is how it's more um integrated with paths and everything now so they kind of changed and sculpted new pathways in there so there's a better ease of flow and direction whilst you're going through that biome so the next thing he goes on about is the rocky desert how the rocky desert is going to have a bit of a facelift as well with the uh, the cliff changes when i was talking about earlier on at the very start of the video with the whole scaling of the cliffs and changes of the uh, shapes of all like so it's so it's non-stretching a lot of the cliffs in the rocky desert are going to get a bit of a change as well and so will a lot of the foliage which the rocky desert needs a lot of love to be honest it seems outdated to me now because uh, everywhere else has kind of got a bit of love and it's a bit unique but the rocky desert seems a bit meh you know what i mean <laughs> so the next biome that is going to be getting a little bit of love is the bamboo fields as we know this was coming as well but uh something happened with through development and a couple of changes and all that kind of stuff and what's happened is they are going to be bringing some changes, but they're not going to be final. So uh, these, um, this biome is going to get some love after update 8 release as well. So I'll let Snut uh, talk to you about this one in a quick little message. So I need to make a slight addendum here because Jace didn't have all the information when I was filming this and there's been a little bit of an update. So for bamboo fields, right now there's a little bit of a mismatch between the landscape and the foliage, and that's gonna be the case in update eight. So you're gonna see changes to bamboo fields, but those changes are not final. It's gonna be a bit messy in that area, and we're not gonna be able to fix that for update eight, but we're gonna fix that later, so after update eight, essentially. Uh, so just be aware of that if you intend to build in bamboo fields, uh, that area is not final and there's going to be some changes there All right so the next uh, biome that's getting a bit of a change it's a smaller one of the smaller biomes but it's going to be the most drastic because there's oil nodes there which is the desert canyons we was told about this uh, a few updates ago that it was going to happen and now it's officially happen uh, happening in, uh, in this update here and if you don't know what the uh, desert canyons are it's this area right here basically where my factory is which i did say in the let's play season that we are going to be temporarily 
uh, using this because of, well, one, this change that will end up coming soon, but it's coming sooner than later. Uh, and then also, uh, Hannah mentioned it in an interview. Uh, was it last year when I interviewed her? Something like that. Uh, but it's all of this. So this is the Desert Canyons right here. So if you've got a factory here, you will more than likely have a change. You might have a rock in your factory, all that kind of stuff. So I would be highly vigilant from now to update 8 to not build anything here. If you have, start trying to move some stuff out. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, I did stay whilst I was watching this on the live stream, the video, uh, while Snook was there as well. I said, uh, is it possible on Tuesday, if he's able to able to show this biome uh, with, for the changes? Because a lot of people do use this area. Um, because one, it's got the oils down here uh, and all that kind of good stuff. For example, this right here is uh, update 7. And then this image right here is update eight so you can see there's a little bit of changes these new types of rocks and it does look like where the old rock was here has now changed and got another one behind it so it does look like something's going to encroach onto my factory for example but we don't know if it's going to be behind the oil or before the oil and we can see right here the kind of radius this is not an exact uh, radius of the desert canyons but we can kind of see so we have down here this is the entrance into the desert this is where my quartz train station is right here. And then you've got the desert canyons right here. So the oil is literally in this location right here. Uh, and that's where my highway goes through. So this is going to be having some changes. And we definitely need to see some more information regarding this. So we can kind of better plan or even just, just retreat out of there. That's probably the safest thing to do, which is what I'm going to do. And hopefully get out of there by the time update 8 comes. The next thing he goes on about is the world perimeter. And you might be wondering what that is, because I was wondering it as well. I thought it might have been the boundaries of like the world radius, if we can go further and all this kind of stuff, but it's not. If you actually look out from the edge of a biome to the outside of the map, it kind of creates uh, a, a world. It kind of creates the space that you're in. Right now, like he says in the video, it looks like we're on an island. But what they're going to be doing, you can see in this image right here, it looks like we're actually on a planet now. It looks like we're on the edge of a cliff inside a desert on uh, Massage 2 A B B B D C A B F. Know what I mean? So this is going to be what it looks like in Update 8. So the affected areas is going to be this one, the swamp and the grass fields. And then all the other biomes will get changed later on. So basically, you can just sit on the edge of the map and you can look at some vistas and make it feel like a, a world and not an island. Then the next thing he talks about is the exploration um, updates that are going to be happening within update eight as well. So that basically means like the berries, the uh, mobs, where they're going to be, the fart gases, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and we can see the Spire Coast is going to have some changes, the Titan Forest and the Coin Tree Forest, as well as the Abyss Cliffs. Uh, they're going to be heavily changed. As you can see, blue is category A heavily changed and all the rest is green which is minor polish to exploration gameplay uh he does state that resource nodes are part of that exploration update as well and they will not be coming to the spire coast in this update which kind of confirms update nine for me which means update nine for me in my eyes is going to complete the rest of the world bring in like iron copper limestone maybe caterium and some other nodes in the spire course because as you know they are absent from that biome and next up is the, the is 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 the big slap in the face which is the two new creatures so the not hogs the not alpha hogs i'm going to be calling them elite hogs uh, elite hogs <laughs> elite hogs or daddy hogs um which are basically two new mobs which is the big boy itself and one of them, yes, was shown in the teaser, which I talked about in the previous video and Coffee Stain release, which was the uh, nuclear hog uh, or uranium hog or radiation hog, whatever you want to call it. Probably people will be calling it all different types of names, but um, it's uh, it, it's a bad boy. And you can see it here. It's, li it's literally a monster. It's terrifying and it doesn't have a fluffy tail. It's literally got a fluffy spine. Uh, and like I said, I did say it did look like more like a bull. It is a chunky boy. Its eyes are terrifying. And uh, these two elite um, kind of hogs uh, have some devastating abilities, which is a bulldoze charge. And like the other hogs, they kind of attack you and then stop. Uh, well, these ones will not stop. They will just constantly charge at you 
and try to bash you off cliffs and just do some damage over time. But also, um, it also has a, radi a radius around it, which is going to give off uh, radiation. So you will be taking damage over time whilst you're fighting it. So I recommend shooting it from range, throw bombs on it or whatever, to stay away from it for close quarter combat, because unless you've got a hazmat suit, to be honest, uh, which that will probably be the benefit of wearing a hazmat suit whilst fighting one of these, in case you wanted to melee it. And then this one is the cliff hog right here. Again, like Jay says, no fluffy tail, so they're not fluffy tailed hogs anymore. Um, is this we got the same, it looks exactly like the nuclear one. The only thing different with this one is it just charges you and does uh, damage to you over time once you get hit. And then he goes on about the final step, which is impact on your... And he goes on about the final thing, which is impact on your save. Uh, and to be honest, uh, you're not going to... Uh, as of yet, like, nobody's going to lose saves, all this kind of stuff. This is kind of set in stone that that should not happen. The only thing that re should really happen is possible foliage going into your factories. Uh, possible rocks, depending on where you are. If you're in the Titan Forest and you're at the top of the, the, top of the Titan Trees, you're going to have problems up there because obviously they've got a different uh, shape to them but if you're on the bottom side it should be a lot thinner so that should be fine um and then everything else uh seems to be and then that should be new enough everything regarding update 8 so far i am expecting some form of secret announcement there's always a sly evil thing this show which i'm expecting in the next video at some point with the release announcement date as well so yeah that's basically the breakdown of what was stated in today's video for those that don't watch the css videos or see breakdowns and all that kind of stuff um but yeah hopefully that clears things up and i will keep you updated on any future content or any future teases that are going to be coming out in the future as stated uh so yeah keep smiling check out my other content right here and i will see you in another video so Keep smiling and I'll see you then.